There she is. Supposedly the world's widest pole plow at over 20 feet. So, so far, first impression on this bad boy. That light's super bright, so it's probably blinding you guys, but first impression on this thing is it's great. It rips, it scrapes good, peels it up, pushes a lot of snow, gets a good scoop. First impression is it's a solid unit. A couple inches, got about inch and a half or so. So what we noticed with this 20 foot short iron right away was that being so wide, um, if the lot isn't mostly somewhat flat, then you don't get a really fantastic scrape. You can see here, pretty flat, get a pretty decent scrape. This thing would work really good for bulking off big parking lots, especially when you get a bunch of snow, just bulking it off and then coming back scraping at something quick. Otherwise, if you got like a driveway, because the driveway usually isn't crowned, it's normally flat, you can get a good scrape that way. But kind of just testing this thing out, seeing if it's realistic or not, and uh, run it this year and see how it goes. So here's a T770 we got with, a, I think it's like a 12 and a half foot Arctic. Got kind of a unique wrap on this one. Name, logo. Cool little design on the back. It's kind of unique. Just having fun. Woo, a little spinny spin. First impression of this uh, 20 foot pole plow. It's doing pretty good. Is it too wide? No, you definitely need a bigger truck though, like uh, this one ton diesel, a little more weight to it versus even the, the gassers struggled a little bit with the 16 footers once in a while. Right, so I think it's uh, this is doable? It's doable for now. <laughs> <laughs> Only right. ran it for about five minutes, so. Right, first impression though is it can be done? Absolutely, you just gotta pay really close attention and be aware of your surroundings.
does and the mold board stays the same because if it turned then the plow would be eight feet out from the truck. After making three passes, what's your first impression? Uh, it seems to be pretty nice. For, for being a front plow, it moves a lot of snow, doesn't it? Yep, I would be very boring to ever plow with just a regular front, front plow ever again. Right. Compared to this and a uh, pole plow, it's a game changer. Right. When it comes to trucks, it's kind of the stuff you got to do to actually move some snow, right? Yep, it would be, uh, yeah, the guys are really missing out that don't have these bigger plows. You get a lot more done. how much we charge for that driveway. So we're already plowing this road. We've got a buzz in there to do that. A little bit of shoveling, but not too much. Guess in the comments below how much something that is worth. All right, let's get the rest of the road opened up. Wrapping up this uh, auto body place. Uh, it's Sunday today, so they're not open. This year we're plowing basically everything from gas stations, auto body, the grocery stores, fast food, restaurants. A little bit of everything, except for the really, really big corporate stuff like Walmart's Targets, the Corporate America accounts. We stay away from those just because it's uh, not a good fit for us at this time. So, Not exactly sure what kind of salt the operations guy had us using here, but boy is it working good. It's about an hour or two after and it's basically all blacktop. There's a little bit of snow here uh, that was blown off the roof. It's a pretty bad wind earlier. so. I scraped that up quick, but other than that, she's looking gorgeous. That's a wrap on this one. Overall, this uh, Snowpower F12 was awesome uh, for front plow. I was really impressed. I really liked it. 
So, just try to get uh, a little bit of footage, a little bit of everything. Let me know what you like to see the most. If it's a Doosan loader, the big pole plow, the mini skid, let me know uh, what you like to see the best. I, there was still a whole bunch of machines I wasn't able to get footage on. They were just running all over, and I was running all over, just wasn't able to catch up with them. But hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Let me know what equipment you like to see the most. And remember, in order to get results, no one else is getting. Must be doing things no one else is doing. See you soon.